you know, the analogy to really think about it is think of hustle, think of grinding, think of like working hard discipline as a hammer. And right now, when people are struggling with anxiety, they're using that hammer and that's the only tool they have. And so what they're doing is that they're treating everything like a nail. If you only have a hammer, you're going to treat everything like a nail. And what's going to happen is you're going to break this whole place down. And that's what happens when people are struggling with anxiety. They're trying to think their way out. They're trying to figure this out. They're trying to find the next thing, the next thing. The whole thing just gets broken down. But learning to let go is like having another tool. It's like having a screwdriver. Now you learn how to use the screwdriver. That doesn't mean that someone takes away your hammer. You still have the hammer, but you know when to use it. But if you treat everything like a hammer and you're trying to build a house, it's not going to work. You're going to treat everything like a nail, but at least having more tools. You'll know when to use the hammer, but you'll also learn when to let go. And what you'll also learn is when to use a screwdriver, which is the idea of letting go. So it's not that you will become less ambitious or less motivated and you'll become a lazy bum. No. You will strive for things and you'll get things and you'll work hard and you'll know. But you'll understand very quickly in life that there's other domains where letting go is more important. Where letting go is actually more courageous. That letting go is the hardest thing to do. And you developing that skill set is really going to help you grow in those domains in life too. Not just the ones where you hustle. And so it's something that a lot of anxiety sufferers face. When I meet anxiety sufferers, I find them very successful. I find them honestly so brave. And I'm so impressed by the things that they do and you know the different domains people are in that struggle with this. It really shows you that really no one's safe from anxiety and that no matter how high functioning or whatever, anxiety can happen to anybody. But if you learn these principles, if you learn this, which is part of recovery, well, then what's great about that is that you can apply it in other domains too. This is why I think anxiety makes you a better person because you develop these skill sets and you can apply it in other domains. So anyways, I hope this video helped. If you really want to know more about how other people are recovering or if you want to be part of a community where other people have recovered or you want to know more about how recovery looks like, I'll put a link down below to my private Facebook group. In that group, I'm putting even more exclusive content, really breaking down recovery, showing you success stories, showing you other people that have recovered who I don't even know, who've just been watching this content and have just been getting better, who post about it. It's incredible. I mean, it's an incredible community. We're very protective of it because, you know, we don't want it to be another forum where people are story topping each other, fear mongering or victimizing themselves. This is people that are serious about recovering. So if you're serious about recovering, if you're serious about going back to living, learning to let go, going back to living,